Hello everyone, welcome back to MG and the Echo. I'm Ovela and this is I'm Angel. Hello. Today is a big day because as you can see, I'm wearing the Uncharted 4 uh, t-shirt. You can, I mean it's not written on it, it's written, you know. Turn around, let the behind. pretty people see. Uncharted. There you go. Ooh. So, we just finished the game last night. Yeah. What an adventure. Oh yeah. Spoilers ahead, okay? Spoilers Welcome ahead. back. Yes. <laughs> if you left. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Go Uncharted ahead. You 4. Start. You have notes. So I have notes. Let us know. I what like you... that, like in the previous installments, this game starts with a scene that is a callback to a later scene in the game. So yes. you start in the action. It's a bang. In start the boat. With a bang. You're you're sailing away, you're actually, fighting enemies, you're going towards an island, it's raining. Ah! Actually, the first shot is a shot of the windshield of the boat. Oh, yeah. And it, wow. when I saw it, I was like, wow, <laughs> am I actually in a video game oh. or a movie? You're like, that, wow, we're in it now. No, no, no. I was amazed at how good it yeah, looked. That's it true. was like, It was like a movie. There are many moments when I forgot we were playing a game, actually. Yeah. I was really invested, and I was like, oh, yeah, this is a game. These are digital characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that was really cool. But, yeah, that scene is uh, was incredible. Yeah. Uh, I was like, wow, you can see, you know, it's you're in a boat, driving a, a boat, and in a storm, yeah. you know? And yeah. you're trying to, 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 to escape, um, but other boats trying to, to destroy you, so you have to... Destroy the boats as well. Shoot at people. Shoot at you people. Get shot at. Yeah, yeah, it's a very, very intense scene. You get introduced at not not only driving, but swimming and oh, shooting. Swimming, that's true. And shooting in that sequence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, then later on, we see Sam and Drake as youngins. Yes, and that they did that in the third one as well. Yeah, well... Yes, Not Sam and Drake. Yeah, yeah, no, just no. no. Just Drake. Drake, yeah. No, Nathan, actually, because they're Nathan. both Drake. Sorry. Ugh, I call him Drake, yeah. Yes. Nathan, sorry. And, fa fun fact, they changed their name to well, Drake. Well, yeah. Yeah. If you play yeah. the game, you should know by now that they are actual Samuel and Nathan Morgan. Morgan, yeah. And they decided to be cool and to, you know, change up their identity, Lost Boys of Peter Pan universe style. They decided to become more than they felt they were. But I'm confused because their mother, Cassandra Morgan, was actually an amazing person. She was an adventurer mm -hmm, as mm -hmm. well. So I don't know. I guess maybe Morgan's their father's name, but it, I would be proud no, to they wear were just, it. They mm -hmm. were just huge fans of the of Drake. The, yeah, uh, the, the Sir or the something. Pirate Francis, or treasure hunter. Sir Francis Drake. Yes, and that they, one. What? That was in the first one, right? No, second one, I think. I think it was the first one. They go to find his treasure. The first one? Okay. I think so. Maybe, yeah. I think so. I, I don't remember. Um, but, but yeah, the nuns. The nun was sassy, you know, the one at the beginning. I was like, she was calling him a delinquent, you know, Nathan. That's Nathan. That he's he's following in his father, his brother's footsteps. He was a little baby boy, Nathan, you know. Um, and I was just thinking, like, Miss Clavel never had this much hate for Madeline, okay? She was a... It's a different approach here. It's a different approach. So it's not your typical convent. Then we go from that to uh, Nathan... Uh, Sam teaching Nathan basically how to become a yamakaze in that's where, less than that's, five minutes. That's where the game teaches you how to climb if you're a beginner. Climb, run, yeah. run away from cops and... No, I just thought it was funny. How to use the rope as well. I just thought it was funny that uh, Nathan learned all he needed to know within a few minutes. Uh, of course. And from there, he became the world's best yamakaze. <laughs> just parkour all the way. I was thought that was funny. Well, not at Mirror's Edge level, but still, he's uh, very good at no, uh, parkouring. He, he could take her down. Okay? Mm, no, he, he doesn't. Could, he does not know how to run on walls and stuff. So not yet. What? Yes, he did. No. Come on. He never ran on a wall. Never. He ran Fine. on uh, falling bridges. Sure. Sure. Exactly. Or buildings, it's but same not walls. Thing. It's the same thing. And he, and he stumbles a lot. He doesn't look as cool. Fine. That's true. That's true. Um, he walks on beds. We, we get to jump on the bed. There's little details like that that's really cool. Yes. Like you can you climb can, on certain furniture. You can hear the beds week yeah the audio is actually takes that into account yeah um i like how they run like children 
you know, they also changed the way he runs. So he's like kind of silly yeah. and wobbly. Yeah. So that was another detail that was yeah, interesting. Yeah. Also, um, Sam, the young Sam, you know, he has this uh, New Yorker accent slash Italian accent. Yeah, he's like a Jersey greaser. I don't know where he comes from. That was from. too like, much. Come on, With- Nathan, you got to... Sh- yeah, sure, I'll show sure, you sure. the way. I'll show you the way. I'll yeah. show you the way. <laughs> He's almost like a gangster. And unfortunately, yeah, of course, gosh. It's weird because old Sam loses the accent a little bit, you know. Well, that happens, you know. Yeah, but come on, that was very, <laughs> very pronounced. It was, and it was weird that Nathan didn't have that. So I was like, where did Sam grow up that know, Nathan right? did not? I know. No, Sam was well. Nathan was kind of. Simple, you know, it wasn't he didn't have much personality as a young kid. Yeah, he was just a little boy. Yeah, <laughs> he looked up to his brother a lot. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely. And uh, the design of the kids was really wonderful. They looked like kind of like Drake and Sam, you know, they're old. Uh, I don't see it, but versions. I really don't see it. You can actually go on the on the internet and see the evolution of the characters. Yeah, yeah. they oh, they, did, they did a lot of work. Okay, but mm-hmm. well, I maybe it's just me. You're better at facial recognition yeah, than me, yeah. but I couldn't see it. I was like, this just looks like a little Caucasian boy. I don't see. Sure, I mean, even Nathan's hair changed. Yes. So he went from a little curly, light chatin to dark hair, yeah, yeah. straight, almost Asian-like. I don't know, <laughs> different. <laughs> he changed. Um, oh yeah, then we go to Panama. I like how they. Said that with the Ooh, accent yeah, on the A, Panama, the Panama, where you see a young Nathan. No, not a child Nathan, but you Nathan see Nathan before adolescent before the the whole Uncharted series franchise. Yeah, yeah. He's still he's still a bit you know soft in the features. He's a, he was a handsome handsome punk. I mm-hmm. liked it. I liked mm-hmm. it. So that's when we're introduced really to the beginning of uh, Nathan and yeah. and Sam's. I guess career. That's where we find out that they've been treasure hunting career. Yeah, where yeah. they've been swindlers, and um, we ate, were introduced to Rafe. That was th- that. They were looking for uh, Avery's treasure. Were they at that point? Yes. Yes. Already. Mm-hmm. Oh, right. That's true. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Yes, we're introduced to Rafe, who paid off the guard. You know, you think that oh, they're in trouble. The guard is gonna give you know Wait, Nathan you a whooping. That, did you mention that they were in a prison? No. Yes, we're in a Panamanian you can, prison. You can't just say guard. And be well, like, because we're talking to people who play the game. So. Not necessarily. You're who talking would to... watch the spoilery of... Anyways. Yeah, you don't know. All right, we're in a Panamanian prison, and Nathan got into a rumble with somebody, mm-hmm. so the guard steps in to take him to solitary or we don't know where. And then he goes into his office, and we find out they're working together because Rafe paid off the guard, and Rafe is the third in the trio of bad boys. And, um, you know, drama ensues, but uh, Rafe was, uh, he's not what I expected. He's pretty cool. I expected someone a little more Sully-esque to be, like, a millionaire bad boy, oh. you know? Well, he's young, so... Yeah, he's so young. I was surprised. He inher- I was like, Where he, he? They mentioned that he inherited uh, the fortune of his parents, you know? Yeah, I guess. I just didn't expect... And it's weird because yeah. he inherited a fortune that he is using to find a More bigger fortune. fortune. Yeah. Uh, He's very greedy, not? I guess. Very greedy. Yeah. Yes, that he is. And yeah. so basically, yeah, so at that point they were looking for Avery's treasure. Mm-hmm. So what happens is um, when they were escaping the uh, prison, yeah. Sam gets shot. The Sam bro- cut. Bro- Sam, you know, he's uh, Drake's brother, uh, Nathan's brother. He gets <laughs> shot. He cut a bullet with his bare hands, <laughs> as they would say in rush hour. And they thought he was dead, so they left without him. Him, uh, Rafe, and and uh, Drake, uh, yeah. and Nathan. Sorry. Yeah. I know, right? It's hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Nathan. <laughs> so, uh, and then you know we get back to fifteen years 15 later. Fifteen years later, basically after the one, two, three games. Okay. Um, and uh, you see uh, Drake, just Nathan. Nathan uh, <laughs> he has see, a salvage job. He's yeah. swimming underwater, collecting stuff for the city. Yeah, just he's, so, he's, he's a, a regular man, regular guy with the regular life. With the oh yeah, with his wife Elena. They're married this they're married, time. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, they're just chilling, just mm-hmm. living their lives, eating uh, in front of the TV, and 
For all of the Naughty Dog big fans, you'll have a surprise at that moment and you get actually to play the old school Crash Bandicoot game. Yep. My goodness. That Man, was that wonderful. was a surprise. You, you, you know, Elena will be like, oh, try to beat my uh, score and all that. Yeah, I love it how she's the gamer between yeah. the two, mm-hmm. and he doesn't even know what a console is or how the buttons work, which is really funny. And I like, I appreciated that that they didn't make her like the ditzy blonde. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They made him the just you know. He's, yeah, he's that, a hands-on guy. Exactly. He doesn't play, you know, with electronics. It makes a lot of sense. <laughs> That moment for me was amazing. It just brought me back because I had Crash Bandicoot. I had the first PlayStation uh, console. And you, you actually put the PlayStation on, you know, the first PlayStation, and you get to hear the noises of the introduction yeah. of the PlayStation. Oh, it was just so nice. It yeah. was, it was. Oh, la, la. Yeah. Um, later on, we go to Italy. No, no, wait, wait. Oh. I forgot. So, yes, so he's a regular guy and all that. And Sam, you know, comes back Sorry. from the dead. You, yes. you actually get to play with Sam before this. They show you. Uh, well, not before this. Like, he comes back and then he explains oh, how yes, he yes. got out of uh, the Panamanian prison and how he survived. And- yes, so you get to play uh, that part yeah. of him getting out of the Panamanian prison. Mm-hmm. So that's his story you know yes. that's what he told nathan mm-hmm. and then also nathan gets to tell his uh, stories you know what he did during the past 15 years given given sam that taste of adventure that hunger like oh jealous yeah. jealous much mm-hmm. but uh yeah sam kind of convinces drake that to save his life yeah he needs to find henry avery captain henry avery's treasure yeah and uh, Sam is a uh, Nathan. Nathan is a bleeding heart, so obviously it's his brother. What's he gonna do? Well, no, do? He, he felt guilty too because he was like, "Oh man." Because he survived, I, yeah, yeah, survivor's guilt as well. Yeah, I left you behind and all. So he decides to lie to Elena and say that he's going on some deal with his employer to find some treasure in yeah. Malaysia, but the Malaysian job. Their first destination is Italy, and they go to a party at the Rossi estate. Mm-hmm. where they can, uh, I guess, get info or continue no, was, on. I don't remember no, why they steal. went. It was to steal the cross, the second... Uh, oh, the not a crucifix. <laughs> yeah. The not a crucifix cross. Yes, that was Avery's on sale, not on auction. Thingy. <laughs> right, 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 right. I remember that now. That, so, that was just uh, uh, an object that would help them advance in their hunt, uh, yeah. in their hunt, treasure hunt. Uh, the villa, the mansion is gorgeous. Yeah. Everything is so detailed. The party is great. I loved it. That's where you get to hear some of the NPCs' conversations. Mm-hmm. Some had were in French, some were in different languages. It was interesting. And that's when we it also... It really felt like we were in Italy. You yeah. Know, I had that summer type vibe, <laughs> you know. Oh. That little vibe, yeah, it was nice. It was very nice, tutti. beautiful landscapes. Yeah, tutti. We're in the yeah. mountains and all. I really love that. Tutti. <laughs> <laughs> Panini. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. <laughs> Scusi to all of our Italian viewers. <laughs> um, and we were introduced to Nadine Ross. Nadine, yes, Nadine Ross, the second villain. Mm-hmm. She's working with Rafe, badass, uh, you know, female character. Ambiguous origins. I don't know if you guys yes, noticed, but definitely. her accent goes from British to Australian, sometimes Jamaican, South African. Yeah, that was weird. I didn't know where she came from. I don't think she knows where she comes from, mm-hmm. or maybe they told her, "You come from all of these places. Make it work." But, yeah, I was like, mm, I don't, what's going on? Keep it consistent. So, I don't know. <laughs> so Nadine represents the military force in, uh, in the video. Oh, my gosh. She has the arms of a wrestler. That girl, don't mess with her. Yeah, basically, she, you know, when you see Nadine, you know you're going to start shooting bad guys. Oh, yeah, that, <laughs> that's for <laughs> sure. And we also, this is the moment when uh, Sully and Sam meet, right? In Italy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of tension. Do we know why? Because the tension is palpable. Like, yeah, they don't go deep into Sam that. Sam does not like Sully, but 
I had no, no idea no, why. No, 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 no. It wasn't like, oh, I hate you. It was just like, uh, I think it's more he like... He was giving him some some serious, like, elegant shade. Just, mm. No, I think it's because, you know, he kind of replaced him. when You uh, think that's yeah, what it is? Yeah, for 15 years, uh, you know, he spent most of his time with Sully Maybe. looking for treasure. So Because it, it, like, it felt like he, they didn't trust each other. And I was like, what do you have to go on to not trust each other? Mm. I don't know. The way he was talking to about it to Nathan, Sam, it, it sound, sounded like he knew of Sully and he didn't trust him. As if they had done a deal before and it went sour, but... I don't well, know. Maybe does, I misinterpreted. It doesn't really matter because in the end, they become really good friends. And they go on to, uh, you know, look for treasure by, yeah. by themselves, actually. There's yeah. the two of them. Maybe that's, you know, the beginning of the spinoff, you know. Yes. Sam that's, and Sully's that's Great Adventures. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it's a possibility. <laughs> that would be great. That yeah. would be great. Mm-hmm. Let's see what else. Um, later on. Oh, yeah. Also, Rafe. Kind of sounded sometimes like Steve Buscemi, I felt. Who's Steve Buscemi again? Googly eyes. Hey, what you gotta do? Oh, yes, 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 yes. It was kind of like, hey guys, I know you're here, but I'm gonna take care of you. And (laughs) I was like, okay, Rafe, why do you sound like a 50-year-old Italian mob man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was fun. I thought that was funny. Um, I like that a moment we use smartphones. Oh, that was fun, yeah. And where are we? We're in Madagascar at this point, right? Yes. I think so. We're in a cave underground. Pirates. I think we used it as well, maybe. In Scotland? Yeah, in Scotland. Was it Ireland or Scotland? Damn it, I don't remember. Scotland, Scotland, Scotland. Yes, it was Scotland. Scotland, Yeah. That's what we have still. It's nice. Yeah, yeah. We were there briefly, though. Very briefly. Yeah. Well, wherever we were, they used smartphones. There's a moment when Drake takes a picture of uh, symbols or... Uh, what do they call them sigils it's the first time I heard the words sigil and it's been used so much in this game so mm-hmm. a pirate sigil and he sends it to Sam to Sam who is Nathan sends the who sigil to little, Sam who knows a little bit more about uh, pirate history pirate lore history lore and yeah. history so that was really cool they talked to each other so I thought that was fun to incorporate modern day and tools of research and before we leave Scotland I just wanted you to guys to do one thing um, in Scotland you'll be introduced to really sliding you know ah, you get to mud slide slides, mud, yes. not just mud slides just rocking you know oh, yeah. rock slide I don't know what to call it but <laughs> you just shoot shoot the the hill you know where you get to slide just shoot it and you'll see the detail you can actually see rocks sliding down and making a pile and just going down oh that's how goodness. detailed it is <laughs> yeah 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 no, seriously that's yeah. the little things that make you really enjoy the, the video game i agree there yeah. was a lot of little details and also scotland looked very purple there was a lot of purple yeah that's the grass true. the grass was kind of purple it was weird yeah yeah that was nice i liked it though but yeah, yeah it's different that's true and let's talk about sam's betrayal the moment rafe Mm. Uncovers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I gasped because I did not expect it. This whole time, I thought the one person we could trust was Sam. Yeah. And this whole time, he's been double crossing us. Ah. Oh, well, double crossing heart. us. He he just lied so that Nathan would help would help him in this hey, uh, treasure. He hunt. lied in a big way. Yeah. Okay. Ain't no Vasquez or Alcatraz or I forgot. Alcatraz. Yeah, I, I think I think so. No, no, I don't remember what his name yeah. was, but. So he basically... <sighs> Rafe like, broke him out of prison. Yes. Can you believe this? Yeah, but the, in the original story, it was another mob man yeah. who... You like know, a Panamanian mobster. Yeah, helped him uh, escape the prison and at, told him, listen, uh, once you find the treasure, I, you, you're going to give me a, a cut. Yeah. Right? Or I'll kill you. So that's what he told Nathan. So Nathan thought... No, Sam. What? Oh, that's what Sam told Nathan. That's what okay. Sam told okay. Nathan. Yeah. So uh, Nathan, you know, accepted because he wanted he didn't want his brother to die. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah. But in the can't end, believe it. I can't believe it. Rafe actually rescued Sam from the prison. But how did Wells Rafe... rescued? He took, he got him out of the prison because he wanted to yes, find a yes, yes. treasure, and he knew yeah. he couldn't do it without Sam. But and then Sam think... was like, Meh, "I'm gonna cut you out of the deal, Rafe." But now that I think about it, how did Rafe know that Sam was still alive? Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe somehow he found out. I don't. I'm sure they mentioned it because he's rich and he has uh, yeah. contacts a little bit everywhere. 
Yeah, you know, maybe he went you know, back to make sure he was dead, and, and he was like, ah, he's alive, you know? You never know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was... Uh, plus, at that moment, uh, they separate. Sam goes with the, the bad guys, you know? Well, no, he saves uh, uh, Nathan from yes, getting yes. shot well, by yes. Rafe. Yes, and there's and a separation there. there. Yes, okay, but it wasn't like they went their separate ways. No, 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 no. It's like a go, fight yeah. ensued. I think the floor yeah. broke. They... I don't remember exactly. And but. Drake gets to to be well. He gets he's joined by Elena during the the, the rest of the adventure. Ah mostly. yes, yeah, that's true. He falls down. He hits his head. You see Elena, and then we go off into a memory of him as a young boy with with Sam. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And they they uh, went into they broke into Evelyn's home, and Evelyn was their mother, Cassandra's employer the woman they went on mm-hmm. adventures with it seems like she was a scholar and a, yes. a writer a professor etc etc she had a lot of treasure in her home it looked a lot like nathan's future house with little oh. treasures and trinkets everywhere and just a small parenthesis uh you get to find a ton and ton of papers to read okay? oh yes you're gonna read a lot <laughs> lots of notes mm-hmm. so and we loved reading them with different accents. Yeah, it so. makes it more fun. <laughs> Just like uh, fun. in The Last of Us, okay? Because uh, I don't know if we mentioned it before, but uh, the producers, writers and stuff of uh, The Last of Us worked on Uncharted 4. Mm. Uh, the previous installments were uh, pro- no, not produced, but created by uh, Amy, Amy Henning. But she uh, left the, um, the, 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 the company, you mm. know? And she couldn't finish the fourth game. So Neil Druckmann and his friend, forgot his name, took the helms of the Uncharted 4. And you can feel their... Um, their influence. Their influence on this mm. one. You can tell there are a lot of similarities between uh, The Last of Us and Uncharted 4. It's very story heavy, which is great. Mm. And a lot less blockbuster moments. That's true. Yeah. I felt that too. I felt yeah. that too. It was very story heavy. Yeah, yeah the, 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 the relationship between the characters is like really present, <laughs> which is great. Oh my gosh. Well, so, anyways, back to yes. Evelyn. Yeah, it was, it was nice to see. She was, she's an old woman. I liked how she was not creepy though, because a lot of games, they have trouble designing older people. They always come <clears throat> off looking really scary, I yeah. find. Mm-hmm. But here she was an authentically um, aged woman, so it was nice. She was ballsy too. Yeah, she, she was like afraid. not afraid to shoot a bunch well, of children. Well, she was dying, even if she, you know. Yeah, I know she's dying. She's like smoking. Yeah. All right, she accepted her fate. Enjoy Which life <laughs> until your <the> last <laughs> breath. Yeah, literally. <laughs> um, yeah, so we find out that you know their mother was a great historian, and that's the moment after this encounter with Evelyn that uh, Sam suggests to Nathan that they take on the last name of Drake yeah. instead of Morgan. And then we're after that scene. I, they also take a, a picture of themselves as young boys that you can, uh, uh, you know, for the Polaroid that you get to shake. Yeah, I you, shook that thing a million times. You actually <laughs> get to shake the Polaroid. And it's like, fuck, oh fuck, my fuck, god, fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> it was so much fun until the image gets, you know, yeah. clear. Remember Polaroids? Of course. We're old enough to remember that. Yeah. Have you ever? You took one? You yeah, used it? Yeah, of course. Uh, we're old enough nice. to to remember cassettes. That's true, VHS. Yeah. yeah. And because the uh, tapes, right? You meant. Also. Oh, I meant like, you know, audio tapes. Audio? Audio tapes. Audio. Audio tapes. <laughs> clap, clap. You know? That yes, was a yes. lot of fun. Anyways, the yeah. Good old days. Good days. Yeah. Well, anyways, now we're with Dre. Nathan and. Elena. <laughs> Elena. My goodness, I was going to say Evelyn. These names. Yes, so now you get to play with them. I thought that was nice, you know, because I felt like it was a very, I don't want to say it, but there was just a lot of man meat on screen mm-hmm. for a very long time, which I love. It was a nice change of pace. Yes, they, I think they, you know, they brought Elena so that they can resolve their issues because they mm-hmm. had issues. Drake had left yeah. with the, with Sam. Uh, Nathan had left with Sam and lied to his wife. He mm-hmm, told her mm-hmm. that he was going to Malaysia for another job, but yeah. it was not true. So yeah, That confrontation scene when she enters their room mm. and they're all there. Woo! 
You can feel the tension. That was some Nashville level tension there. That was wonderful. (laughs) Hashtag bring back Nashville. Yeah. Mm. Um, And I don't know, Sam Sam is so dry with her. I know he has his own issues, but he's just kind of like, Well, that's because he had lied. He didn't want to say anything. Yeah, I guess. But even, I don't know, I didn't like the fact that Sam just comes into Nathan's life. He doesn't care that the guy's married. He doesn't really care what he's been through. He he just, like, pulls him out of his situation because that's not his thing. He's not a settled-down kind of guy, so he can't relate or have empathy or, you know, I don't know. I was, that part of Sam was kind of hard for me to understand. To accept, but I understand where he's coming from. He's not a normal guy. He's been in prison for 15 years, mm-hmm. and he didn't really get time to develop normally. He's a street rat with his brother, which I say in the loving way because I love Aladdin, my the first street <laughs> rat ever. But yeah, so I understand. But still, you know, come on, have a bit of bit more respect for your brother's woman. That's your well, sister. Well, later on, you can you know they, yeah they later sh- on they show them bonding. They Sam fix everything. And Elena, they bond. He hugs her goodbye. He's like, he even he you even take care of her, right? He even gives them uh, his findings. A few um, doubloons. A few doubloons. Yeah. yeah, Avery doubloons. So with those doubloons, he uh, they managed to to buy um, a business. You know, yeah. they legal managed work, to yes. go uh, find treasures the legal way. Yes. Yes. I wanted to also talk about the moment that Rafe slaps Nadine. They get into mm-hmm. a fight. He slaps her. And we all know that she can kick any man's butt if Pause she wanted gasp. to. I love that she slapped him right back and was like, "Excuse me, ninja, mm-hmm. pulling a gun on him. What do you think you're doing?" She didn't. She didn't slap him. I think she punched him. No, I meant metaphorical slap. Yeah. But mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, she bit him back, and um, he sealed his fate in that moment. Really, he did because oh, yeah. that's the moment she decided, "I don't need you. Mm-hmm. I don't need this." And, and she actually betrays him at the end. Too. Betrays him at the end. Locks him in a room with uh, with Nathan. And, with the brothers. The and Drake brothers. Well, Sam is <laughs> under... Unconscious, yeah. He's, yeah. He's pinned down. And this is where we have our big boss level, if you will, mm-hmm. that I played because he was confused. <laughs> and I'm really good at fencing because I have a background in fenceology. Fenceology? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, they uh, they fight with swords. Yes, and no, I'm just good at those buttons, so I know you know, triangle, circle, circle, triangle, circle, triangle. <laughs> I love patterns. Square, 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 square. <laughs> Punch. QTAs. Yes, what he said. Yeah. And uh, I defeated him. Yay. Yeah, it was sad. You know, Rafe. He had so many opportunities to join the light side, but he wanted to stay on the dark side, so you get what you get, you know. He ended up like two and and Avery. Smushed. He gets smushed, yeah, by uh, (laughs) a load of treasure. Mm -hmm. Well, he he ended up getting what he wanted. Yeah. So, technically... Covered in gold. He was covered in gold. Law of attraction. It works. (laughs) Careful what you wish for. They always say that. Yeah. And, yeah, so at the end, you, you... I liked the ending. I guess we could talk about the ending now. Wait, uh, and <clears throat> Sam, I mean, the Drake brothers managed to, uh, you to know, get away. To yes. get away and stay yes, alive. Yes, Drake was clever enough to use water to make the, the, the log. buoyancy of the, to use the buoyancy of the mm-hmm. log to get his brother out from under it. Yeah. Or a pillar, more like it. And yeah, they escape. Yeah. And, uh, in dramatic fashion. In a very dramatic, the cave, you know, collapsing and all. And of course, Drake. At no moment did he think stuff my pockets with the uh, jewels. The moment he entered that 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 boat, I was like, "Get your pockets full, <laughs> son! Come on, what what have we been fighting for?" Yeah, we. You all know, you need is a little bit of this in your underwear. I'm glad Sam didn't die. I really thought, oh, someone's gonna die because it's the end of the franchise. But no, the villain perished, but mm-hmm. the heroes survived. And they didn't survive too. Yeah, we don't see her ever again, but she, you know, she went off with her treasure, so I'm sure she's fine. Yeah. Yeah, she was more, you know, about the profit than she was about the murder and, and the relationships. And yeah, she, she didn't have no vengeance against nobody. She had yeah. no history with them too, so. She needed that yeah. mula. Mm-hmm. So they all say goodbye, Sam goes his way and Sully kind of lets him know that he's got more dealings 
of the dangerous kind and Sam still has that thirst for more. He yeah. still feels empty after their discovery of Avery's treasure. So Yeah, yeah, they do. They did mention that, you know, uh, after you're done with the treasure hunting, mm -hmm. you still have the same Hunden? empty same empty feeling. Yeah, yeah, Nathan confesses so that. So basically he it's not really worth it. Yeah, it is. Cuz it's not a good feeling. I think they do it for the thrill of it. But for the adventure, for the journey. Yeah, you're yeah. not left with a reward. The real reward is what we see in Nathan's life. It's family mm -hmm. and love, basically. Love is all you need. So I liked the ending, how we are transported back to Crash Bandicoot. Yes. <laughs> and then we find out that Cassie's been playing it. And Cassie is... Who is Cassie? Ba -da -da, is Nathan and... Elena's daughter. Elena's daughter. daughter. <laughs> she's what, 13, 15 maybe yeah, years old? She's named after, I think, her grandmother, Cassandra. Yes. Cassie, mm -hmm. for short. And I believe that she looks a lot like Elena. They did a good job of merging the two. I see mm -hmm. both of them in her, yeah. with her little goofy glasses and all. She's also an explorer, historian in the making, just like them. Yeah, that, that, that part, the epilogue, the epilogue uh, yeah. it reminded me a lot of uh, the intro of The Last of Us where you get to oh. play with uh, Joel's daughter in the mm. in the house. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, you get to discover things, uh, press triangles, yeah, and just interact true. with things. Mm -hmm, yeah. So true. this was kind of the same. You get to, uh, you, you know, uh, control Cassie in Drake's, uh, the Drake home. In the Drake home, yeah. yes, yes. And they have a dog named Vicky, which... Uh, yeah, that was a weird name which for is, that's a mistress's name, so I don't know how that ended up on a dog, but, you know, maybe it was a reference <laughs> that I don't know. Maybe it's an inside joke in um, Naughty Dog know. Studios. <gasps> but, maybe know. they're, because they have a dog. Oh, maybe their so dog maybe, is named Vicky? Maybe. Maybe. Mm -hmm. And I also told her that if they make The Last of Us 2, that they will probably include a dog, you know, uh, mm. during the adventure with the characters that they will probably kill and we'll all be like, oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, that's a that's a small prediction. Maybe, there. Yeah. but yeah. So basically, Cassie shows us that now they're living. They have like a private property on a beachfront, white sands, water when you step out of the house. Nice house. They have two homes. They have another home which is more like a studio. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous landscape. They are living the dream. This is my dream. And, oh, and yes, we get to also during the game we get to play. You know. Um, in a, in a, on islands. Yes, Beautiful Madagascar beach, islands. Beach That's islands. right. They're gorgeous. And there's one of the islands near the volcano. There, There's a, a rock yeah. that looks a lot like the Cave of Wonders in Aladdin. Mm -hmm. If you look at it, you'll know which one I'm talking about. It looks like when that tiger cave collapsed. collapses and it goes, <laughs> and it's frozen in place. <laughs> that rock looks exactly like the. I don't know yeah. if it's on purpose, but... Nice uh, shout out to Aladdin, Disney's Aladdin. Yeah. Just wanted to mention that. But back to, yeah, the ending. I loved it that they ended with him. They live happily ever after. I don't mm -hmm. know if, what mm -hmm. you think about that ending. It doesn't leave much. I mean, if another um, developer wants to take the helm of the, the franchise and make like a spin off or something, it's going to be kind of hard. You did mention that you thought they could go the Tomb Raider route with Cassie. Yeah, that or Sam, you know, show us what he, did, what he does and Sully's in between, you know. Sam and Sully's sexy adventures. Yeah. Ah, mm -hmm. I love it. But I don't know. It was too happy. happy too for me. happy? Yeah, yeah. I felt like, I come had on. tears. Because they are not soup. They're not supposed to be superheroes. So what? in this whole adventure, maybe one of them should have died. They are superheroes. How can you climb that much and never be hungry? Well, I, I don't know. Just saying. It wasn't ballsy. Like, The Last of Us was ballsy. It was a ballsy end. That was a ballsy end. You know? So, it had more impact. This yeah. one is like, okay, well, everything is good. Different Life setting. Is good. Different setting. This franchise has never been dark and gray. Yeah, yeah, it's not that dark. It's always been pretty happy mm -hmm, and fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been a great adventure for yeah, happy yeah. kids and people. Mm -hmm. So I thought it was fitting. It was nice. He had family. He had a st stable uh, situation, what he was missing growing up, what he always wanted. He finally had it, and he has a, 
a child to pass his legacy on and we on to and we see him talking to her it's it's time she breaks into his uh his uh treasure chest of wonders and she she sees pieces of his past and she's like who are you guys mercenaries <laughs> or adventurers she's like hey that's Such cool with historians me. i don't know and so then nathan starts to tell her let's go on a, a boat ride and i'll tell you all about how i met your mother ah! mm-hmm. and not as long though and um yeah. How they became. <laughs> yeah, he didn't start with. It all started back in the day. She actually, Elena, started with. This is how we met. Yeah. Let's get that out of the way. <laughs> and he was going to tell her all about their crazy adventures. So it was nice. Oh, I can't believe it's over. So, I yeah, can't. well, I mean, I want to thank Naughty Dog for creating yes, uh, yeah. a franchise of, you know, iconic franchise for like the india like indiana jones you know for the old generation yeah. but uncharted is for the new generation yes. and it's a video game you know an interactive video game and but also a very cinematic video game yeah. for people who aren't um, you know great gamers or who don't know how to control the camera do not <laughs> thank you please do not give the rights to make a movie Okay. Oh. No, this is a movie. This is an interactive movie. It's beautiful. It's great. I don't yeah. think that a movie can do justice to to this. No, so they there would you ruin go. it. Yeah. Yes. I think we've said all we have to say. Love it so much. I can't yeah. believe the journey is over. We got the charted trophy at the end, so it's mm-hmm. no longer uncharted. We charted it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. And uh, so yeah, buy it. Buy it. It's worth it. It definitely so worth it. So is. Play it with friends. It's fun. It's great. Yeah. It really is. So, as usual, thank you for joining us on MGN The Echo. And uh, if you like the video, like it below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more uh, content. And uh, share it if you feel like it. Yeah, and let okay. us know what did you think of Uncharted 4 in the comment yes, section below. Definitely. Did you find anything surprising? Did you like the name Vicky for the dog? I'm just saying. <laughs> And what about Rafe and um, Nadine? Nadine, weren't they supposed to get it lo- get it on at some point, or did they in the past? And maybe that's why there's so much tension between them. What do you think? That's just my two cents on that. Keep on playing video games, okay? This is our medium, the medium of the future. And keep making great video games, developers. Yes. With great story and lovable characters. Attention to detail too. Very important. Yes. Okay. Thank you for joining us. Bye-bye.